G'day guys, welcome to Shout for the grand finals of the Awarded War Test Tournament. And we are jumping into match 2 to see Handy from Australia fight for his life to stay in this tournament after losing to Tedessa from Russia. And because it is a best out of 3 and really we just wanted to make it end quicker this one because it is a test tournament and it's been dragging on for quite a while due to the time zone differences as we're going to see interesting Nation matchup, France, Tedessa choosing France uh, is really not being chose much. I think it's because he wants to try it out in the tournament and it's a really a risky choice, I suppose, in the grand finals. But I think he knows what to do with them. Is And Handy's gone Hungary. I've seen this nation played quite a few times and looks like he's gonna assault squad. Tedessa with a regular straight down the center majority taking up five positions on both ends of the river. And we'll be able to outshoot Hansi, I think. Hansi just trying to micro his way in a bit. A few grenades on the western. Hansi's taking that. Tedessa seems like he's just spotting. But I think eventually Tedessa should win the center. He's just got too many guys here for Hansi. Whilst on the eastern point, I think this is going to be a uh, possible take from Hansi. He's got quite a lot of guys. Four guys storming in versus uh, three. And the SMGs of Hungary are superior due to their PPDs and Pippishes. And now he's flanking on the left. He's trying to run away. And Tedessa also get, has an SMG guy going to flank these three SMGs. One, one guy down. And to finish him off in DC, Handy is going to take it. No, he's going to run away instead. He's seen the flanking guy and will try to run to the flag to avoid a grenade. Tedessa still shooting. But these three guys should have no problem to dispatch that remaining guy. So Handy has captured both of the flanks. Tedessa not probing the west at all. Though it is quite weak from Handy. And another regular buy from Tedessa going down the eastern point. Interesting choice. Interesting choice going regulars for France. I guess they do have the Delar rifle with their squad leader. Usually with French you do see quite a few elite marksmen plays because of their three Delar rifles. And that's probably what Hansi was expecting. That's why he was attacking all three flags. As we see him flanking now, using the bridge to flank the center. Nice position. Unfortunately though, Tedessa has finished off his troops in the center point, which means he can't flank both ways. So it may be hard to approach. Let's see these guys prone. Ooh, can you take him out? See his flank? Yes. Ooh, it's nearly dead. He's in DC right now. Using his Pippachet to his advantage. Definitely the best MG to be in direct control due to the amount of ammunition. The Lyle Rifle, you can see the slow movement of the bullets travel through the air. But it's very powerful when it hits. Another assault squad coming in from Hansi, and it's definitely going to overwhelm the force. The MG of the French kind isn't that great to hold this many troops, and is forced to run away. Covering fire on the bridge, doing well, and Hansi's able to come right into this point. Tedessa just punishes one guy with a Molotov while he flees. But an easy cleanup now, just with the numbers. Hansi should take back the center, while the eastern point has been taken back by Tedessa with that regular. Regular now moving from the east to the center of Tedessa, but will get ambushed by the PPDs and Pippishes. Bit of health lost and potentially a grenade by Hansi. He's got two SMB guys who can throw a grenade and destroy them. PPDs from the bridge still pinning down, um, pinning at Tedessa. He's got another regular as well coming in the background. Looks like Handy and is not focusing on this area at this stage. As Tedessa now is the one doing the micro to push Handy off, taking out two with the Molotov and one more guy sneaking in to finish him off. And what do we have here? We've got the Chuba, one pointer SP from Handy. A decent buy, I suppose, especially because he's been spamming regular squads, which means they don't have any AT grenades in the World at War mod. Let's see this flank happen. I don't think he's got anything to Oh, AT rifle, the boys AT rifle from Tedessa. <laughs> you can kind of expect that from Tedessa. He always has an AT rifle. He's a type... He doesn't play the usual 1v1 meta as we used to usually see. It's the European or the 5TA. Pretty much European, European style of buying AT rifles to counter units. Focusing on counters and defense. As Handy now is coming into the left-hand side with the assault squad to push, and this may even be a 3 cap, even though he lost the Cheba. Looks like, um, what did Tedessa buy for his 1 SP? Uh, I'm not too sure, he didn't, even, he didn't buy the resistance. Sorry, he didn't buy the gorillas. He didn't buy... Uh, what else? What's that in the 1 special point for France? I really haven't played this game for so long, I forgot. 
the switch to Tedessa's uh, choices. He hasn't bought the one. Okay, he didn't want to buy the Gorillas. He didn't want to buy the Quick Defense. Looks like he might be saving for the Mortar. The 1 SP Mortar does come out at 2 SP time. Just due to its uh, ability. So slightly better, so it does have a bit of a timer on it. A 3 cap has been stopped from Tedessa. Our regular squad is going into Cap It. Another 1 SP Chubber. This is an interesting choice from Hansi. First one didn't work, but if he can avoid the AT rifle, it'll be okay. But it looks like the death is already on the wall. You can see him already moving his guy. He probably heard it from spawn. And he's already in position. If, oh, that was nearly a flip. If that Chebber can go all the way down to the left-hand side of this flag, it should be able to support and wipe everything, because these are just regular squads once again. And that's the reasoning behind Hansi. But a crew engine on that Chebber. Oh, another crew engine, but it's behind a haystack. Perhaps it may be okay. Can this guy get killed before? It's being shot at it as well. No, it's uh, not being shot at anymore. So it has another shot. Bounce on that one. Can it go? It's nearly dead. Something is shooting at it from here. I think it's going to die. Cheva takes out the MG of the French. And that AT rifle is still alive. And can take out that Cheva. It's going to be careful. It's got that luckily hand. He's just using this haystack and that uh, other haystack in different kind of haystack. Haystack already been chopped down into that thing though. Um, AT rifle coming in. Hansi. Oh, Hansi has taken it out, but uh, here comes a two-pointer special by interesting call. We've got the Renault engineering truck, which is basically the... Uh, he's bought the 13th Demi Brigade, which is the elite foreign... foreign... Uh, what do you call it? Foreign Legion, obviously. So elite foreign legion coming out with the AMR 35 32 Point 13.2 Hotchkiss should be able to mow down any infantry here. Chiba had no chance versus that, and Hansi doesn't have that famous Hungarian AT rifle, which is wait, wait, which should be waiting for it. Don't know if he's bought one. There's definitely he should, and he has now. There's the famous AT rifle of the Hungarians, one of the best, is the best in the game, I believe. And here is also, oh, interesting buy. He's bought the uh, two SP, two SP 20 millimeter vehicle. Coming down to the center, mortar out from Tedessa behind the house, and we'll be able to pepper away down to the center. I personally haven't had much luck on this map with mortars. For some reason these this cover in Shelt does block a lot of the explosive Shelt. And there you go, put a wave to that AMR with that uh, SDK. Renault engineering truck, <laughs> not sure what it can do, if he's going to actually use anything in there. Probably, probably should save that for reloading the mortar or reloading your other artillery pieces if you're going to get any. 20 mil now, putting the pressure on. Hansi's playing very aggressive and can take the left. This Hungarians are pretty much the aggressive Germany if you want to play it that way. They have the light vehicles to do so. They don't have as attritional units as Germany. Like They don't have the VET sniper and they don't have the Brandenburger stealth. Oh, and he's taken out two of his guys. That also taken quite a few of um, few Tedessas as well. So that was a lot of action. I haven't uh, had time to really look into the game yet. So let's have a look at the overall picture right now. We see the lines being drawn. I think Handy's got enough around his side, spread out to guard. Tedessa has a uh, precarious hold in the center, and he's got that mortar to slowly push away. And the eastern point looks like it's being held strongly now. So Tedessa seems like he's got a good spread of his troops and has counters. Uh, hasn't got a counter for that 20 mil for some reason. Still not. So Hansi, if he wanted to, could pretty much play super aggressive. But he does not know that. Here is an assault squad going to the west. Perhaps it's time for Tedessa to probe that. Always good to do so. Oh, that MG <laughs> nearly gets killed before even getting to position. There we go. Look at that, the Danuvia 43M, similar to the SDG-44, has taken out that MG. Ooh, he's actually shooting through that building. Can he actually take take that out? I don't know, there's a bit of a window, a wall in the window there. I don't know if he can destroy it. He might not be able to, as you can see, he just tried. And it's blocking the shell from hitting that mortar, so it looks like it's going to be safe as the boys AT rifle from Tedessa has taken out the SDK FZ, FZ tank crew from Tedessa. That's probably going to... I don't know what it's trying to do. 
probably it was trying to crew the mortar it was it, that was dead. But uh, now here comes the Dessa with a flank on the far west of the flag. Now pushing up, we'll be able to take out Hansi's lone PPD, and there's it's really the road is open now. There's nothing from Hansi here, and can just storm right in there without any opposition. Hansi now going to try to reinforce an assault squad, but is going to approach to Dessa, who is going to entrench these positions. Is already putting his forces into little nooks and crannies, waiting to ambush that assault squad coming in. Won't be easy. Definitely won't be an easy task for Hansi. Center, nothing happening yet. That Malta's being quite inactive. I guess there's no line of sight. What actually I think would be great would be a reconnaissance squad. Just have a, uh, the binoculars trained on center and let give the Malta some targets to hit. Now let's see this assault squad go from Hansi. Pushing straight down the road to Dessa. Actually hasn't capped the flag. He's choosing to camp outwards. He's also reinforcing as well with another assault squad. So it's going to be two assault squad versus one. Though the high quality of the Hungarians may shine. A flank on this guy doesn't caught napping facing the wrong way. Gets shot from behind. One guy in the building from the Dessa. Another guy over in the roadway. And perhaps he may do it. That's a really nice approach from Hansi. You can see one. he's actually attacked all three roadways at once. And that was a that was great infantry movements. Not getting too too bunched up in ambush and was able to flank some Tedessa's troops. Tedessa coming in with a grenade. No luck <laughs> with the the Nuvia 43 MM of the assault squad leader just ripping ripping into him. And Hansi actually will hold this point with the <laughs> with his assault squad. Center we have Tedessa trying to sneak in. No one as of yet really using the riverway in mean, Shelt. We usually see that uh, being used a lot in this game. Mortar shooting into the riverway. And the assault squad from uh, Tedessa are going to try coming to the center. I think that riverway is definitely, definitely a, good option, a good option right now. There's that no one going into there and you can quite easily throw grenades over. I think Mortar will struggle to, to hit the troops inside as well. Tedessa now is going to use this to his advantage. Hansi knows he's there, going to try grenade his way. Probably not the best. <laughs> oh wow, destroyed that SDK from being repaired. We can and we also see now the British Expeditionary Force, Matilda. A few chaps on the back. And also uh, the Bren. So he sent the Bren to the western point. It's just the image you get of seeing the British Expeditionary Force running, from, running to Dunkirk. Running away from the Germans in every documentary that you see. That's why I made it. The British Expeditionary Force, the Matilda and the Bren Carrier, so often used in the early wars in France. Nimrod out for Hansi. Interesting buy at this stage. It's been a unit that's been a similar kind of unit. The 40 mil has been bought a lot on Shelt for some reason. I guess it does work well in the West, which Hansi is moving it to. But at this stage, um, yeah. Needs to need something to counter the Matilda. Though in that, uh, in all that, he's still being able to pressure and cap the center with an assault squad. <laughs> A lot is happening. These guys are pushing in all points. AMR 35 to fill the gaps and will have no problems taking it out. Where's that AT rifle from Hansi? AT rifle from Hansi is right here. It definitely needs to be taking out that AMR. Oh, that's just a rifleman though, Matilda was safe. Uh, that AMR needs to be taken out by this. Let's see if Hansi will do it. He's not uh, he's caught napping. He's not actually watching this area at this stage. Perfect shot right now. Come on. Uh, looks like he's controlling on the right. You can see he's moving his Nimrod. Trying to probably take his sprint carry out but gets grenaded. Oh, by an assault squad SMG unfortunately for Hansi, just using that Nimrod so aggressively for some reason. I guess he had troops over here. Just a sneaky guy from Tedessa somewhere, but this is a juicy target right there. I don't think Hansi sees it. Uh, lost a big ticket item, but he does have a big lead into this. 51 to 0. Uh, Tedessa hasn't got a lot of MP. Sorry, Hansi has got 3 SP and just enough for one squad, so not too much left. He can get a heads up, perhaps. Not sure why he went that Nimrod at that stage. I guess if he kept it alive, he could have held this point indefinitely and stopped any 3-cap. And then be a bit annoying in the center and 
use the 40 mil to get that building down to take that out. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. And let's slow down the head side. I don't know if he's going to get one. On the other hand, what do we have here? So I'm just going to swap around just because we have a bit of uh, Panzer Shrek. Sorry, Panzer Shrek was just down, killed that uh, brain carrier. So now we have a bit of a quiet, a quiet time. We're going to switch to France. He's got 360 MP and three special points. So a very similar situation in MP, though he's got the units on the field. So he's actually got the Matilda. He's got the 1SP mortar, and he's bought another 1SP mortar. So he's got two mortars trained down the center, and a lot of troops in good defensive positions. Plus uh, an AMR on the left, so, so this, this point's definitely held strong And by that AMR. Mortar hasn't been doing too much, but it's going to stop Hansi from really clumping his forces to stand down to the center in force. Hansi potentially can flank from this area. This is actually quite weak here. So if Hansi wants to just push down all the way, throw grenades over here. There is pretty much nothing, just a rifleman and one SMG. And he's got the arrow cross soldiers. Um, this is the, yeah, it's the arrow cross, I believe. Oh, is that coming in right now? Yeah, the, sorry, the arrow cross is right here. It has so much weaponry, AT weaponry, the AT rifle, the Panzer Shreks, a lot of stuff that they can throw at the French. No, <clears throat> no MGs. They don't have a machine gunner in there. That's the that's the only downside of them, as he's splitting it up into two. Tedessa playing a bit safe, not using the French for stealth. It seems he doesn't sneak resistance. He's not sneaking any resistance behind the enemy lines. Just playing a bit of filling the gaps, making sure all his holes are covered. And yeah, that that works. If he, that works for him. It's standard plate. AMR though is locking down the right, but he's got the arrow cross which can quite easily take it out as long as he knows. Where to, this is the AT rifle. Wow. AT rifle just shot at the cover there for some reason. But AMR now is ready to get shot in front. Boof. Boof. So powerful. Just one shot knocks it out. No problem. No crew injured. Screw that. I am the arrow cross with the AT rifle. Tedessa filling in some of the gaps with some resistance. Morton now pounding away and will do well versus troops staying behind cover shooting. There's two of them trained on him. Chuba, interesting buy from Hansi at this stage. That will stop him from getting the the, I don't know what that was for, to be honest. That was so risky. It could have been taken out easily in that situation. Can the Matilda take it? Chubbett goes into safety and will be able to be used in the housing area to hold versus infantry. Not sure if that's a unit he needs right now, especially because that unit stopped him from getting the heads up. And now he only has two SP left, if I'm counting correctly. Soul Squad on the outliers coming down to the center right away. Arrow cross has the potential to really flank down the center, really just run down that river, up the stairs, throw a grenade, kill the mortar, get the Panzer Shrek, bam, take the Matilda out. That's that's pretty much what he can do right now, if he uh, if he wants to. And the arrow cross do have decent hit points, so they can withstand the MG hit, no problem. Jeez, that's a big opportunity on Handy there. Can he do it? Oh no, he's actually just proning down the river, playing it safe at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to be enough, I think. It, there's still the opportunity there, there's nothing facing it right now. And this one guy can definitely wreak havoc, but I guess he can't see what we can see in the Flog of War. Um, I'm not France, I'm France. If I chance to Hansi, can you actually see it? Yeah, look at that. If you look at Hansi's situation, he doesn't know what's there. Oh, he does know that's a rifleman there, but before that, oh, that would have been devastating. And now he's been spotted. Oh, it looks like Tedessa just sent him over here, didn't notice him. And he's going to try hiding behind the stairwell. A missed opportunity. Ah, okay, didn't want to go to Hetza. He's not, not a fan of tank destroyers, I guess. He's got a 2 round 3. This is a decent play. It's got a, it's got um, 80, ar 80 armor? Yeah, 80 armor turret, 80 armor hull. And it's going to quite easily take out everything, uh, every tank that the French can field without being being a target itself. <clears throat> so Hansi 
for some reason is able to get down to the center and has taken out the cover, the stonewall cover of Tedessa's. Not sure if that might do anything. I guess in the other end he has he's lost quite a bit of cover as well. Interesting he doesn't build sandbags as Hungary. He doesn't want to go to the regular squad with Hungary for some reason. They are cheap, but they are quite bad. Like they're the cheapest regular squad in the game. I think it's matching with, I can't remember. Is that similar to the French? I think it's similar to the French. They're quite bad too. Two round three, king of the field, but it doesn't matter, I guess, if you can't take out the infantry behind the sandbags. To be honest, the mortars are actually going to do a better job at holding or stopping, holding the center or attacking the center than that two round three support. Two round three support can't do too much. It's just there to take the tank out. Perhaps now the infantry killer is all he needs, but is really CP capped at this stage. Maybe even a flak. Oh no, no way, not a flak 38 because he's got mortars. So Toldy 1, yeah, Toldy 1 will be the one he needs. The looks variety of the of the Hungarian team. And that will be able to make Tedessa prone and force the Matilda out to counter. That'll be his perfect buy. That's the classic buy, classic type game style that we see. No Cheba. Gonna try and flank the ring wave. AT rifle misses and gets taken out by that Cheba. Now Cheba is supporting the center. Oh, AT rifle again, misses. And oh, misses again. He's gonna be playing cheeky. One SMG oh, gonna try and charge him down. Can he take it out? Oh, misses. And AT rifle is not getting lucky because of the statue on the bridge and also that the little cover railing on the side. Making it hard for that AT rifle to hit. Never mind, Matilda has shot the top, I think. Uh, it's not dead. Just the turret. And that uh, is definitely finished off. So again, yeah, probably the Toldy 1 in my book. The classic, uh, classic combo of heavy tank or tank domination and infantry killer is needed right now. I know that what it has changed a little bit to make it, I guess, more expensive to do. And uh, making also counters easier. Though this is the classic one he needs right now. <laughs> classic counter. And Tedessa playing very attritional right now. The two mortars pepping away. Really hasn't done too much. It's just more, I, I think it's a bit more of a uh, passive. I don't know what you call it. It would kind of change the way Hansi plays too. Like he won't send infantry because he's scared. It. It's a bit of a... A psychological thing, I think, more fancy, and annoys people as well. But on this map, I don't think it, it's that effective, especially in a 1v1. Needs that Toldy. Toldy, I will do it. Uh, this is a dangerous position to be in. Grenade from Tedessa nearly takes out a lot, but wasn't direct controlled. Uh, oh, mortar! Okay, that's when it's gonna shine, when a whole clump of troops are in one area. Entire squad, and I guess that's why Hansi doesn't want to send infantry down. What he definitely needs, though, is that Toldy, or I guess how can he counter the mortars? He doesn't have much MP. Probably the best way is actually just storming down this road. This area is very weak from Tedessa because he's fought, he's placed all his command points on this side, and he could, uh, yeah, make a breakthrough in this area. Look, still, it's been been very, very, uh, very vulnerable for the last. I don't know. 10 minutes in my opinion. But easily flanked. Should definitely try. I guess Hansi can't see it, but uh, worth a try. I don't haven't seen Hansi try that flag once. What's that? 80 infantry from Tedessa. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's the let's get the flare from Tedessa. Using that uh Oh, here's that Toldy eye. Right, nice move. But Matilda's come in. Two round three better be ready to protect it. It's, and he knows, told he is going away, but that two round three, yep, it is coming, hits, unfortunately hits some cover. Matilda going for a shot, oh lucky, misses. Matilda, told he three, two round three, oh, who injured, has main gun turreted, that's, that's good. So at least now, Handy hasn't lost anything, no main gun, nothing, Matilda is down from two round three. It's got 70 CP, but it's really lacking on infantry right now. So let's see if the Toldy 3 can do the supporting. Should make an impact now. Struggling to take out some troops, but now Hansi is able to get into the center point. 
And it's looking quite favorable now to Hamzy with this combination. And really the only thing the best I can do, let's see what his MP situation is like. <clears throat> oh, it's huge. He's got a thousand MP. Right. Well, what he could do is anything. <laughs> well, not really, because French really are bad for counters. The Vickers 75 mil can take out the two round three at max range now. It can penetrate 80. Well, it should. Should. Uh, sorry, at 120 range it can penetrate that. Tank-wise, uh, probably not a good idea from Tedessa. Versus a two round three. Yeah, all the 3.7. Or pretty much ignore it and play attritional. And he can, because he has so much MP. Perhaps maybe just keep killing Hansi's Soul Squad. No, 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 no. That's not a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea, but he needs to take out that toady, toady eye. So get a light 80 gun, maybe. And then uh, play attritional if he wants to. Just needs to take it out. And that's what he's doing. 47mm coming out to play. We'll take it to Toldy, perhaps. He's gone for it. All damage tracked in first shot. And that will finish Hansi's domination in the center. That's a good, this is one thing that a lot of new players don't understand. Light 80 guns are great at the end of game because they can do this. If you're down, sorry, they're great if you're losing, losing in the tank battles because tanks don't find it easy to take it out. And it's quite easy to move into a position where you can take out light vehicles like that. And that's how you counter an infantry killer at late game when you don't have tank domination. Perfect, perfect buy. No, Handy coming to the center. No go. Toldy being repaired. And now back in that situation. And he's even got... Wow. GPF artillery. Three special points. Built. He's just built it. And he's got 900 MP as well. Score-wise, relatively even. Relatively even in terms of kills. Though slightly towards Tedessa, I'd say. Yep. Just by the amount of vehicles that Hansi has lost. Uh, the, I think the only vehicles Tedes has lost is the uh, engineering truck and a the AMRs, which are relatively cheap. Hansi, on the other hand, has lost a Nimrod. Plus, uh, Toldy I. A lot of Chubbers, which aren't too expensive. GPF, just trying to get lucky to take out the hull of this and maybe even the two round three. Hansi is uh, playing a bit scared, just trying to run away. Does not want to get lucky shot by the artillery piece? Decent uh, decision. Just needs a bit more infantry. Let's see what his MP is like. 50. Oh, Jesus. Oh, because he just bought a squad. So that's fair enough. Assault squad coming down to the center. Two round three. Needs to be used aggressively, which Hansi is, which is great. And the good thing is it also got um, some guys on the right. So it's quite safe from any guy, like you, like Tedessa can't sneak a guy from the river because it's got that covered at the moment. But I don't know for how long. Missed by the reconnaissance. SMG to the face. But now this is going to be dangerous because now he's lost a bit of cover. Oh, Chaba is down. 59-58. Problem with Hansi is keeping up the imagery. He's got some guys here now. Just needs to spread them out quickly before the mortars do its work. Get some guys down to the river. And it should be okay once that happens. Just make sure he spreads them out well. Saboteur soldiers. Looks like uh, Tedes has gone to the elite squad. There's some saboteurs out. Potentially can sneak through. They do have stealth. Maybe a bit more of a spread from hands he's needed. But here is a potential shot. What is this? No, it's not. No pee out on it. Just uh, going to throw a grenade up perhaps. Hansi, trying to return the favor, going to struggle to take the guy. This is the most annoying position in Shelt ever, in that little corner. You have to DC a grenade, there's no option otherwise. Oh, or a Molotov. <laughs> Mortar, still going away. Hasn't been doing too much damage, and he's spreading quite okay, but still really hasn't bothered to take that out. I guess, uh, I guess because they didn't have 80, 80 infantry. Wow, the GPF. Tedessa's really using this howitzer just to get lucky on this uh, two round three. It's tracked it though. And it's a sitting duck for any sort of assault. Tedessa can bring up an elite force. Get a Piat over here and just run a Piat right up to here. Oh, here it comes. Saboteur soldier. See the Saboteur elite squad, the Piat. And he's safe from the bottom. Able to shoot without anything in the hull damage on that two round three. 
it dies by to this is O Mortar, but oh, Piat. Boom. Straight over. Too good. And I think that's gonna ruin Hansi's chances of victory. That was his only saving grace, that two round three. Taken out by the Piat from the Saboteur soldiers. I like how Tedessa escalated it. Without any infantry killers, the Saboteur squad would have been king of the field. <clears throat> there is France. There's France uh, being used well. <laughs> and lots of complaints of France. 1v1s especially. You can see that they can be used well. Really, you don't need anything that heavy, to be honest, as France. I think they'll be an even better support nation in a 2v2 tournament. Just France and UK, or France or Britcom, something like that. I'll oh, bring France and UK, because UK can field the heavier tanks if needed, like the Comet. And, and it can support, uh, support with uh, the stealth and mortars and arty and even those cheaper heavy cheaper heavy armored tanks the french have which we don't see too much of it's not tedessa's style though but we're seeing tedessa oh I, i'm gonna call it guys 150 mp tedessa oh hansi's quit okay hansi has quit so that is a gg guys see across there so well done to tedessa who's won the tournament uh, while well, this is going, I guess, let's talk about uh, Tedessa's run. Just surprised everyone beating Mr. Pringles. Surprised everyone. I didn't expect Pringles to be out so soon. Tedessa, not known for his 1v1 play, uh, pretty much has been underestimated ever since the start of the 2v2 tournament. <laughs> and he's never let anyone down, I guess, even in the tournament. They did lose to Wild Hunt in the grand finals of the 2v2 Open. Tedessa's team of 5 to 8 but uh, they, they, they could have won that uh, tournament quite easily as well. So never again will you underestimate, or I will underestimate Tedessa in any sort of situation. He is a fantastic player, 1v1, 2v2, team games, and definitely will, would see him probably, we'll see him more in the, fi in the finals of the next tournaments. Good game, guys. Uh, thanks for playing, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, lots of balance fixes have been applied due to the games and your feedback. And hopefully we can see more games in the future. I personally haven't been playing much due to just being addicted to Stellaris. Now I've been playing Stellaris like crazy. It's such a great game, guys. Check it out if you haven't. It's a grand strategy game. It's a bit complex. But if you like that kind of thing, uh, yeah, definitely check it out if you like Paradox games. Uh, if I, sh I don't know if I should do videos on them because it's just quite slow and boring. Maybe I'll do some sort of cut, like a um, bit of intro on what I'm doing, then cut to cut to the major decisions. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I know there's lots of Stellaris gameplays out there anyway, so it might not be anything interesting. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. See you around, guys.